Have you ever wondered how a lot of content creators on YouTube get their audio to sound so good? From the sound design, whether it's folly, whether it's sound effects, to even just the audio you're hearing, for example, from me. Well, it starts off obviously with having good equipment, whether it's a little lavalier mic or a shotgun mic, but also one thing that a lot of people don't consider is audio monitoring. Monitoring your audio in a really good way. Little dingy $10 headphones that you can get from Walmart won't cut it if you're really looking to create good quality content with good audio. And that's where these come in. The Audio-Technica M50Xs. Hey, what's going on guys? He's Santos here. And this channel is all about helping you and inspiring you to create content with whatever means necessary. So if you're interested in learning about technology, gear, and other ways that you can create content, consider subscribing. Do you know how much I picked these up for? Can you guess? Leave your comment down below of what you think I picked these up for. And if you get it right, I'll pin the comment. The Audio-Technica M50Xs have been around for years. And there's a reason why most of your favorite podcasters, content creators, they use these headphones to monitor their audio when they're talking to someone else or when they're editing their videos. The reason for that being is that these provide really good, clear, crisp audio when you're editing your video. These headphones really help you understand the sound the way it was meant to be. That way you give your listeners a great listening experience. Brand new, these cost $129. These are the non-Bluetooth version, so they have a cable that you actually have to connect to um, your computer or your device. The Bluetooth version runs for $169 brand new. I asked you guys how much you think I paid for these. I bought these two years ago on the used market for $30, and all they needed was new ear pads. You can get these ear pads on Amazon. These are not obviously the OEM ear pads. You can buy the OEM ear pads. However, my head was hurting whenever I would wear the OEM ear pads because I wear glasses and the OEM ones are pretty tight and they snug really hard on your glasses. If so, if you're a glasses wearer like me, it might not cut it for you. So these ear pads, they're the Brainwaves ear pads. They, they feel really good. They're memory foam. And the only sacrifice being is that it did cut out a little bit of the audio. So they're not as loud as they were. However, I do have these plugged in to an amp slash DAC that I can literally just boost the volume up a little bit and I get that quality that I lost from replacing these pads. And honestly, you can pick these up yourself for a good price. Just go on eBay, look up M50X, select used and you'll find a plethora of used M50Xs from different colors that they've sold from white to brown to black and all they need is new ear pads. You can literally buy these yourself again. You can literally buy them on eBay as well so when you order these used headphones from somebody you can just replace the ear pads. So again audio quality really is key when it comes to editing your content. Even if you're editing content on on TikTok or on YouTube shorts having the right levels when it comes to your audio when it comes to you speaking or a sound or some kind of noise that you wanna put within your video, it's key to keeping that in there and making it sound good. It turns out the human ear is actually a lot more sensitive than our eyes. So if we hear something weird, we'll actually notice that more than if we see something wrong with the video. So you can have the worst quality video, but their sound sound really good and it would actually be more beneficial to have better sound than better video quality. So again, that's why I pick these up and that's why I really think that these are honestly the best and one of the reasons why you should consider buying these. I'll leave links down below for the resources that I mentioned in this video regarding these headphones as well as the ear pads that I got for them. Let me know in the comments down below what headphones you use to monitor your audio or do you even use headphones to monitor your audio? Did this kind of open your eyes or did this open your ears to realizing that you might need some headphones in order to get that extra quality of audio that you might be missing from your videos. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. if you got to the end of this video, please consider subscribing and as always, have a great day.